I'm going to be reviewing kind of the void system vacuum blender craft thing. But I want to, I got to tell a little bit of a story first. So I have a Vitamix. I've had a Vitamix, I had Vitamix is now for 11-ish, um, maybe even 12 years actually at this point. It might actually be 12 years I've had uh, Vitamixes. And I had bought my original one at Arnold's Way, which is, if you've watched my channel for a long time, was the guy that got me into Raw Vegan. And he sold Vitamixes and I was there one day. I said, you know what? Why don't I try it out? So I got a variable speed Vitamix. So that I, I came out here and Vitamix is, is headquartered out of Cleveland and I live in Cleveland right now. And I, I dropped the um, my original Vitamix off at the headquarters to have it looked at because it was, it was sounding kind of rough. I used it every day, multiple times a day. And I told them three, three times, three. They had my current address. I said, I'm not going to be at this address after today, like I'm leaving today, I'm going to be at a new address. I told them that three times, I gave them the address three times, they entered it in the system, they even showed it to me that they entered it in the system and you probably know why I'm telling you this. It was a cold, stupid cold day, people were working on the house that I used to live in and I was at the new house and I get a delivery notification, go outside not outside. Then I look at the address that it was delivered to. I drive over there and by the time I got there, one of the workers had taken my Vitamix and I'm like, son of a bitch. I, you know, what am I gonna do? Barge into the house and go get my Vitamix. So I call Vitamix. I said, you sent it to the wrong house. And they're like, well, we're gonna have to investigate this. It's gonna take 30 days. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. So then I was on social media I think I'm on Facebook or something like that later that day, and there was a Vitamix fair going on, and I write, write in, um, I would warn against anybody buying a Vitamix because of their return policy after they sent my Vitamix to the wrong location, and they're telling me it's gonna take 30 days to get me my Vitamix back that they sent to the wrong location that I told them three times of my new address and my new address is in the system. So somehow they sent it to my old one. They're, I'm getting some. So I, of course I have somebody come on there and they didn't want this publicity. So they're like, I'll, I'll get this taken care of today. You live like 20 minutes, so you'll have this tomorrow. So they sent it to me next day. I got it the next day. Everything was cheery, cheery and great and everything, but they sent me a refurbished one which technically mine would have been refurbished. I've never bought a refurbished anything because I've always heard that it's really not the greatest idea. So I'm like, whatever, I'm not gonna fight it. It worked fine, but it always had kind of a weird noise and that's what we're gonna get to. So that weird noise I thought was the base unit. I thought it was just always kind of a shit, but actually it was the carafe. And the carafe was, this part right here was seated crooked. And the reason I know that is because it blew up on me. I don't know if it's gonna focus on that or not, but if, if it did focus on that, there's oil everywhere. This, the oil seal on this thing broke. Now I've had this thing for five, five years, so it, it did its five years, right? I will get to the void systems in a second. And because of this, I was watching a John Kohler video. It just kind of happened to pop up into my uh, feed. And he was talking about this void system and I'm like, I gotta get a new carafe. I've, I keep hearing about these, these vacuum blenders. I'll give it a shot, I'll give it a shot. Took them forever to get it here. They're in Utah. I don't know what it, I don't know what void of a plant is in Colorado. Anytime I order anything and it's gotta go through Colorado, I don't know what happens in Colorado. I don't know, I don't understand it, but it, always takes a week longer than it should. So it took like two weeks somehow to get it. And I finally get it. And they've got this weird like wireless charging system. I think they think it's great. I don't understand. Just let me plug it into the thing. Like I just want to plug it in. So I like, I don't know. The, and so anyway, so I charge this thing overnight. The one thing that I noticed about this carafe, and I took short videos of this, it is small. It is small. It is it looks big, but it in reality, this is what, it, this is probably where you could fill it in this void system, like the 40 ounce mark. So to make two m m mason jars, I've got to run it twice, which is annoying. The blades are fine, it works fine, but the vacuum system, 
It, it didn't work great for the first couple of days. I, I, you know, I probably should have contacted the company before I made this video, but here we are. And then it started working. I'm like, great. It started working. It would, I would put the, the lid on, it would go from zero to uh, 16. And then it was perfect seal. Nothing was leaking out. I would run it. Now I've ha admittedly have not noticed a different taste or anything in, in this at all, at all. Um, so I don't know what John Kohler's talking about when it, when he says that it tastes a lot better. I mean, I, that subject, everybody's, you know, whatever. Then all of a sudden this last, like, I don't know, four or five days, it just, I'll show video of it in, in a couple seconds. It just, I don't know what it's doing. I, I, I don't know what it's doing. It's charged enough. The seal is on, like I, it, there's, it's a full seal, I, but it's just, I don't know what it's doing. So I'm gonna show the video. All right, and we're back. So I don't know what it's doing. I, I don't know what this is. I, I, it won't stop doing it. I've tried resetting it. I've tried recharging it. Uh, it, it just, I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. It, it, it drives me nuts. The seal, I, I could wish there was a different seal on there because when you're pulling it off, you often get liquid that will kind of splash out a little bit and it gets on the bottom and then you got to clean that off and you got to clean the rim to get a full seal again, because you can't run just 64 ounces of this. It, 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 I've tried, it was just too too much. It says it can hold like 100 and I don't know, uh, however many ounces. I couldn't do it because then the stuff was touching the lid and it wasn't getting a good vacuum. So far, I, I, I wouldn't recommend it at all. Like I, if somebody from Void Systems watches this, like, Maybe reach out to me. Uh, this is this. I, I actually almost tried to reach out to them for an affiliate link before I made this video, but I don't want to be affiliated with Void Systems. This this thing is crap. Like I don't like it. It this the weird charging system. It didn't really work the first couple days, and then it started working, and now it's not really working again. Like it does have a vacuum seal on it, but it's kind of leaking the whole time. Um, and then today, uh, like. After I got done, like usually, like if I just do bananas, it'll stay like a banana white for, for hours. Today, it's not, it's not even doing that anymore, and I took video of that. So as you can see, the one in the carafe is still kind of banana colored, and the one I just did like three minutes ago already looks terrible. It already looks terrible. So there's clearly oxidation going on in there, and that's the reason for this whole thing is to have it not oxidize while you're blending. So. I, I wouldn't do it again, and it was, I forget how much more, like I could get like almost three of the new carafes from Vitamix, cause this one's clearly done. Like, let me try again. Like, I don't know if it'll focus on that, but th this oil pack just, <laughs> it blew. I mean, it was getting all over the Vitamix. It was, it was a hot mess. I don't know. John Kohler seems to sing his praises, but he also is always pushing, I think, the try best one or whichever one that he's always pushing. I wouldn't do it. That's me. Maybe try it out. Maybe I'm, you know, like doing something wrong. I don't know. Um, it did come with another seal. Maybe I'm supposed to be using that. It didn't even come with instructions. It came with a QR code. Like, come on. Like, I spent $300 on this thing. You can't give me a legitimate instruction manual i come on 100 percent don't recommend it at all save your money 
If you really want a vacuum, I would get whatever one John Kohler's pushing. So far, I haven't noticed a flavor difference at all. I kind of wish I didn't even have it. It's crap. I, it really is. Like, just if you're if you have a if you have a seal break on your Vitamix carafe, just get another carafe from Vitamix. That is my review. I don't usually do this. This is the first time I've ever done this. But $300 or whatever it was, two weeks to get it here from Utah. Uh, then it kind of works when it wants to. It's like, like the worst employee. <laughs> like, it, like if this was an employee, like if you ran a company and this was your employee, you'd have to get rid of them. Like it works kind of, maybe, I don't know. So anyway, that's my little story of why I have this current Vitamix that I have, my reason why I actually have the, uh, whatever this thing is. I, I, I will give them this though, it, like, cause some of the older ones that, like, that, that you would modify your Vitamix with, it was a separate part that you had to vacuum out the air with. At least this is all like encompassed unit, but if it doesn't work, what is the point? Please somebody enlighten me as to what, you know, like if you have one, if you're, if, if for what it, like, so I don't know, this new modern thing of buying something and then watching reviews on it after you buy it. If you have one, does it work for you? Leave me that down in the comments section down below. Um, but man, I mean, three, most people don't even spend $300 on a blender. And this was $300 just for the craft. So if you, if you have the base of your Vitamix, that base costs you, I don't know, like say like $300. And then this vacuum blender costs you like $600. Like if you really want a, a, a true vac, that one by, I think it's Tribest. I swear it's Tribest. It's a company out of Korea. I think they, they make like the Green Star and a couple other things. They have a really good one and they have a wide craft on that thing and that is what I would go with. If you're gonna dump the money on something, uh, dump it on that. Kohler also says that vacuum blending is better for juicing. I can see his point if the thing actually works. Maybe I got a defective one. Maybe I'm defective and I'm using it wrong. I don't know. So far, I mean, you saw what was happening and it happened twice. It's not like it's happening every time now. This happened to me like the first couple times I used it. I think it was because I had the, the, um, the top on there a little crooked, but now I've made sure that it's seated correctly and it's still doing it. Even, even when it did work exactly as expected, you got to run it twice if you're going to make a couple mason jars. I keep wanting to say Masonic jars. I did not notice a difference in taste at all. And it oxidized the exact same because the top was like oxidized when I would go to drink them. I don't know. Maybe I understood it wrong. Maybe. Maybe, I, maybe this review is, you know, not even valid. I don't know. But that is my experience with it so far. I don't know what to do with it because it doesn't really work. And now I've got this like shit craft because it like it like this is a Vitamix craft right here. Make it like this. They gave they gave you the blueprint. You could have literally and maybe this is this is probably patented. I'm sure it's patented, but like I mean, they gave you the blueprint. Just work with it like they Max is right here. There's no way you couldn't have a top that fit on here. And vacuumed. I'm sorry. This, it, like, come on. It's it's ridiculous. Anyways, I never do this, but three hundred dollars for this thing. Come on. Like, if people still use paper, right? Say it's like a pretty paperweight. I don't know what to do with it. Now I got to use it because my seal is broke. I guess I could just buy another. Disappointing. Anyway, uh, comments, questions down below. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. Oh, and last thing, I don't feel like putting this back on. The last thing is it does actually come with a normal lid. So if you did want to use it as just a normal blender, you can. I don't, know, I don't know why you would buy it just for that, but you can do it. So I don't know. So far, no, not great. <laughs>